Well, we're back in Oak Harbor, and Kurt and Katie are taking me to the Oak Harbor Music Festival. Come on along. Oh yeah, and that's a view by their house. Pretty nice. Parked a short ways away, cause Kurt, like his dad, has a big truck too. Ha! I'm at the ocean again. Wow, look at all the driftwood. Did you know that the Washington state flag is a bust of George Washington, you know, the president, on an emerald field? I guess if you're from Washington, you did. The festival is pretty large and spans several city blocks. Katie bump into their neighbor here. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? So you're not back at, at the house operating heavy no. machinery? I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, it's too dusty back here. It looks like there are two full stages here and street performers everywhere. Man, this is really a dog-friendly place. I should have brought Grizz. It's kind of like the Mama Fest in Tempe, Arizona, right next to the ASU campus. For any of you that have ever been to that. The three of us were hungry, so we stopped into the Noe, that's Noah, Jose Cafe and Restaurant. Great servers and good food. While the different acts were getting ready, we popped in and out of some of the shops along the streets. Some pretty eclectic names here in the PNW. That's Pacific Northwest. Hey, 
hey, it's an Airstream eatery. Shelly would like this. She used to make her own specialty soaps. This is a poodle. How sweet. Yeah, he makes people happy. So I bet the uh, the general happiness here is like up a half a percent right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. We finally choose a stage and thought that a cold brew with a place to sit and listen as well as have a good view of the stage would be in the beer garden. I'm bummed. The ID checker wouldn't even card me. Now this was a fun crowd. The second band started by playing a Beatles song, and it was so good, I forgot to hit the record button. Time's it wasted, babies, ain't no way to go back, baby, now. It's easy to... Later they played a Paul Simon hit, Kodachrome. I was surprised that Kurt and Katie hadn't heard of it and didn't know what Kodachrome was. I filled them in and they laughed. I think they figured that uh, I'm pretty old, especially that I was singing along with everyone else and the band.
after the music pause, we decided to head back and would you look at that? Many of the vendors and performers had a place provided to park their RVs and other stuff. Katie picked up some soap for Shelly and we got a glimpse of a mermaid and made our way back to the truck. Thank you, Kurt and Katie, for spending your day off together entertaining this old man. All three of us sure hope you enjoyed this little slice of the P&W. We will be back again next week to take a ride in Kurt's new boat. It should be a blast. I'll even bring the drone. Hope you're having as much fun as we are. If you've ever had the slightest inkling to travel, you've got to get out and do this. Make today your Sunday, after all. It is better outside, and please, travel safe.